What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday evening. Sunday evening. Wish it was Saturday. But hopefully everyone had a good day. Spent a lot of time with the family today. Went grocery shopping. Uh, didn't thrift today. I uh, was pretty busy. Had a soccer game. I had that. Susan, the chat. Scott L. Sandy. Daily, what's up? Deborah Conway. Tito Rex. Deborah, Charlotte, beauty lover, thanks for coming. AJ, Diesel, Eric, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> Donna, all right. So for those of you that won uh, prizes last night, I'll get those out in the mail this week. James Thrift, what's up? Hey, Mike. AJ had nine sales. Getting everything packaged up. Yeah, I'm going to do that after today, or after uh, tonight. I'm sorry. See, how many did I have today? Uh, this weekend I had, let's see. See, I think I have 11. No. Yeah, 11, waiting shipment, 11. Yep. Sold a Wii game today for 20 bucks. If you can find NHL 2K11, I don't know if you guys can find that. It's uh, Wii and Wii U compatible, compatible. If you can find the Wii U compatible games, um, they sell pretty well. Actually, they sell really well. So definitely look for the compatible games. Uh. All right, so uh, let's see here. I wanted to show you guys what I got from the bins yesterday. And I got a ton of stuff. I spent $81. Uh, majority of it was board games. I'll show you some of the bigger ones that I got. Uh, what I looked for as well as some of the random stuff I got. So I'll, I'll show you guys that as well as I want to hear what how you guys have done. Scott looks like he has a lot of Amazon sales. Scott bought something from Shop Goodwill for $215, sold it for $378 within five minutes of listing the nine items. Nice. Quality product. What's going on? <clears throat> uh, Charlotte, the remotes that didn't have backs uh, is this. They're Sonys. Both Sonys, so I figure out they'll sell. But yeah, they're the ones that don't have the backs on. Eric, yeah, I saw you've been remodeling stuff. That takes up a lot of time. Um, all right, so I thought this was pretty cool. Now, what's interesting is a lot of people were passing over all this stuff. Uh, and it's ours isn't too crazy yet, but uh, all this, all these things I found after people had already sifted through them. Uh, let's see here, Franklin Bookman. If you can find these, they go anywhere between uh, twenty. There's, I'll hold it up. Uh, 20 and $25 with free shipping, but uh, this tested works. You can see here, I even was uh, testing it. it. Works great. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. But yeah, that should sell well. That was sitting there. No one, uh, everyone let it go. This too. Uh, hey, Pac Man. Adam, how's it going? Mr. Potato Head. This electronic game, a lot of times I find electronic games that uh, that are sitting there. This one has scratches on the face, but again, this one tested. And uh, if you can find it, it says 1997 and 2003 on the back. Again, it just takes a screwdriver and you put your three uh, three AA batteries. So those I thought were some pretty good ones. Let's see, uh, a couple of hats. So a lot of people pass. A lot of people pass by the hats. This thing uh, sells pretty well, or this brand. It's Fi Collection. And let me move this over so I can see the chat and my screen. All right, so this one, let's see if you can see that FI collection. It's got the signature on the side, uh, the Netherlands. Uh, quality product. Those are all this stuff right now is going to go on eBay. Good call out, though. I will check the Bookman for Amazon. Definitely will check that out. Daniel Small back on eBay. Nice. Sold six things. That's awesome. So this looks brand new. Uh, I just picked this up. Not sure if it'll sell. Again, it's brand new. It looks brand new. U.S. Open, Aaron Hills. And uh, USGA member. So golf hats. A lot of golf hats I find. Columbus is a big, Columbus, Dublin area is a big golfing community. So I find a ton of stuff. Uh, name brands. So we talk about, you see name brands all the time. Cat, again, this hasn't been worn. 
and it's Louisville cat or Louisiana. I'm sorry. I thought it said Louisville. Louisiana cat. So I figured that should sell pretty well. Got that as well as this John Deere. John Deere with the Velcro backing and it is not even worn. I mean, Pac-Man, I do good on Titleist hats. Yes. I just sold a TaylorMade hat for $10. Uh, Scott bought a 1995 handheld Yahtzee game, four dollars, sold for thirty-five. Awesome. Yeah, those handheld games definitely don't pass them up, especially at the bins. It didn't weigh much, so I picked it up. Nothing sells like a deer. That is true. This one I thought would have higher comps, but it didn't. It's the um, Green Bay Champions from New Orleans Super Bowl Champions. It has the logo on the back, and again. This thing's unworn, or at least I should say uh, doesn't appear worn. No markings on it. There's something right here. I'll uh, Baby wipe will take that off, but yeah, no stains, nothing. It only sells for between $10 and $25, depending on if there's a tag. Mine doesn't have a tag, but uh, so we'll see. Again, with hats, double check that the backs, Velcro or Snap, that they're intact. Catherine fell asleep in the chair. I was very close to doing that. Nice coming early night. I picked up some books. Book, I'm probably gonna, this is, I can't sell this on uh, Amazon. This one, I'm gonna throw up on Amazon, Amazon pricing, random books. Now, we're in the book bins, if you're looking at what I've, I've passed this up once, and does Callaway Golf sell good? I would think they do, Dwarf Fiesta. Uh, any brand type, any of those golf hats, I just took it upstairs. It just says tailor-made, and it's black. I'm sure. I know uh, Darren, uh, I don't know if he's in the chat. He's, he just sold some Callaway items. So, yeah, they do sell. Yeah, Velcro is on the Vero list, so do not say Velcro. Ron Connors, how's it going? All right, so what I do in the bins and when they bring out the new book stuff, Erie, Pennsylvania. Do you know where uh, Butler is? Butler, Pennsylvania? Some golf shirts and shorts. Yeah, they should do well. Callaway does move, says James Thrifts. A lot of times, a lot of the like-minded, like-minded, like-titled, uh, liked category books, the same either author or same brand type, usually they're all together. I found these books. I don't know if you remember these. Little Critter books by um, Mercer Mayer. So I picked up about 13 of them, and they were all stacked together. So they sell for about a dollar a piece. Uh, I might list them for 15 bucks, But again, easy money. Yeah, you like the Brett Favre jersey? Does anybody have experience with baby and toddler clothes on eBay? I have not had – I've never sold toddler clothes. Ken, I did a house clean out today. Got – Two baby changing tables, shelves, whatever you want to call them, and a bunch of bags of miscellaneous baby toddler clothes. Most are like new, some still with tags. Uh, yeah, give them a shot. Just be careful. Just look at, make sure they're uh, not used. Yeah, little critter books are great. So, and they sell, especially if you can get a set. Uh, we'll see. I'll put them up there. Thanks for the tips. I'm 15 and started reselling this past summer. Nice. Keep it up. Start learning the platform now or learn how to resell. Just resell in general. Learn what, what items make money and take risks with moderation. My neighbor sells toddler clothes. They do better if you lot them. So with the toddler clothes too, you might do offer up uh, mark, uh, Facebook Marketplace. That would definitely help because uh, when I had some, some of my kids stuff I did, Locally, those seemed to not last long. All right, this was interesting. There is it looks like some looks like someone got it wet on the edge and it dried. And I thought this was interesting. There's listings on Amazon for this little book for thirty bucks. Uh, it's kind of interesting because it's like really one of those dumb books, but it's uh, dolls of Bill Gates. The paper doll book. But again, I was kind of disappointed. You can kind of see the waterline right there. 
kind of up right there, just right there. But who remembers Romper Room or New Zoo Review? I I remember those. Uh, yeah, baby and toddler clothes do well, and they have special Facebook groups for it. Eric went to my first sale of the year this weekend. I need to have my own. Uh, I need to get some stuff to get it out. Yes, that's another word. Vero onesie. Do not type onesie anywhere. I think what what's the the word you put in one piece? All right, who remembers these? Again, these were all stacked uh, together, and I have I think eight of them. You remember these things? Questron electronic workbook. Now there's a bunch of them. It was the original, I think it was the original leapfrog thing where what you could do. Oh, let's see here. What they're interesting is you could put your pen on them and it would read to you. So if you find lots of these, these sell pretty well, especially if. You have the whole set, but again, I forget what I comped them at. They were around 20 bucks, I think. But again, a lot of those sell well. Do you remember Bozo the Clown? Yes. Captain Kangaroo was the best. Soupy Sales? I remember I remember hearing about that. Hook and loop. There you go. Velcro uh, name replacement, hook and loop. Choose your own adventure books. If you can find those in the bins, pick those up. This one I picked up, figuring it would sell well. I'll probably just keep it for myself. A World Cup 94 kind of, uh, what is it, official book. I said, why not? See Jane Run. I learned how to tie my shoes watching a romper room. Bozo died the other day. I didn't know that. All right. So what else? I'll pick up some good. I'll take. So I got a whole bag here. Uh, how many sales did I get today? Today I only had one, I think. One was a hockey game. I had a bunch yesterday. They just kept rolling through yesterday. One today was a hockey game for Wii. What else did I sell? Uh, I sold a Mario and Luigi Dream Team DS game yesterday for uh, 28 Sold a specialized vertical mouse for 78 J Crew Shoes, 25 That Taylor Made hat I told you about for 10 Uh Landline phone for 40 Buying one of my bike seats moved. Sold that for 11 And a package of ink for 20 bucks. So it was uh, pretty good. When I was a kid, the only book we were allowed to read was Dick and Jane. What about Goosebumps? I used to read Goosebumps all the time. No, nothing from Backpack, people. I got to reach out to them. I got a ton of ties. I picked up some random... Clothes just because uh, it had so this one's an Irish shirt, fighting Irish polo shirt. Pick that up. Picked up a Dell docking station without the cord. These sell for about $13, 12 dollars, I think. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if I can test it, but Eric, I'm frustrated. Sold a book for three fifty. 22 days ago, the customers said they didn't like it and returned it. Oh, no. Yeah, of course. I got one of those. Uh, Monica, if you, I don't know if you're in the chat, but I found this. It was sitting in the bin. I figured someone, I heard that these uh, Girl Scout patches sell well. I just threw it in there. It can't be, uh, I don't know, someone will buy it. Uh, where is it here? So, yeah, Girl Scouts, State Seal of Ohio. There's a pin here. I don't know what this pin is. There's a pin on it. But yeah, there you go. Pick that up. Has anyone else ordered any bulk clothing from PS101 members? I heard uh, Eunice and um, there's a couple other groups in there that have do really well with clothes. Um, Was it APL in Florida? Eva? They do really well with clothing lots. Uh, Wine Monkey. It was brand new in the box. Just picked it up. Worth pennies. It weighs nothing. I don't know if it'll sell. Susie Orman FICO score. This thing's still sealed. Take that. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, I forgot to test this. This was just sitting there. It's a Magellan Roadmate. Now, a lot of these NAV devices usually don't sell. 
for much, but I figured, you know, probably 50 cents. I'll give it a shot. But again, I haven't powered it up yet. I got to plug it in. I forgot this was in there. Oh, what else? Ties. I got a couple toys. I got a Nerf gun. Pick that up. Kind of fire, right? Yeah, that still works. I got that. And then, uh, yeah, some other ties. I won't bore you with the rest of them. So that was all kind of my little stuff. Now I got, uh, I get received some, uh, got some games, but let's see what else. Ken, I would have never guessed Girl Scout patches or any patches really would sell. Yeah, so supposedly they sell. At least that's what Monica was saying. I'll have to look it up. Thompson, maybe Justin, he's in the VIP group. <clears throat> All right, so what else here? All right. I picked this up at Salvation Army. It was only, it was half off, $2. Uh, it sells on Amazon. I'm uh, ungated to, to send it in. But after $2, I think I make 5 It doesn't, it sells for about, I sold, I saw one sold for $14 on eBay. I don't know if I'm just, I'm probably just going to send it to Amazon to get it off. Get it out of here because I don't want it to sit around. Girl Scout patches are slow movers. Yeah, I figured it would move fast. It was pretty much free. What ties? No, no big name ones. Um, Jeffrey Bean. They're kind of cool. I only picked them up because they were kind of cool. What I'm doing now is I'm lotting them all together. Um, what else? So let's see here. The tie bar. I like the colors of that one. I just picked it up. Um, what's this one? Ralph Lauren chaps. Uh, Express. That's garbage. Van Houston's garbage. I don't know why I picked it up. Just threw it in there. John Ashford. And there's a couple more in here. Club room. I want to see. That's Ralph Lauren. Is it club room? I can't remember. I like the color of this one, purple. This was uh, Jeffrey Bean. I have a couple Jeffrey Beans, so I'm probably just going to add it to the listing. And again, pennies on the dollar, so I just picked them up. Let's see. Chris, did you see everyone say they are brownie? Oh, brownies, not Girl Scouts. Okay, brownie patches. All right, good call. I see it now. That's all right. I'll I'll make sure to make sure I uh, find comps on them before I list. What's anyone's experience with the larger '90s Super Soakers? I have not sold any Super Soakers. I have two large uh, Nerf guns. The Gatling gun. It's I think it's the Vulcan. It sells for about fifty bucks if you can get the tripod and everything with it. But I just have the gun, and I think I have it up for thirty. I had a watcher or two for a while, and then it stopped. It's, but Again, I think I paid four dollars for it, but super soakers. I have not looked at super soakers. Uh, speaking of patches, I found some stained USPS shirts at the bins, tore the patches off at home, and sold the four for around $25. Wow, that's a good idea. I did well in ties and formal gowns at the bins on Friday. That's about it. I usually don't sell formals, but it's almost prom season. There you go. Yeah, ties do well. Um, there's some that sell I can get individually to sell for about $15. And that pretty much pays for most of my bin purchases. So, and they're very little weight on the expense. So I always pick them up. Catherine, I was a Girl Scout leader. Don't know anything about resale. But you can look them, but can tell you that the young lady worked hard to collect them. Yeah, there's a ton on there. I can't believe she had all of them on there. And they sewed them on. I would get the patches and just put them on my desk. Jerry Garcia and Trump can get twenty to thirty dollars. Yeah, so the Trump tie, I think I sold for eighteen. It was sitting up a while. I lowered the price a dollar or two to get it to sell. And then uh, Grateful Dead ties also sell. The one I have up already has two watches on it. I have awesome light up laser tags, tag guns for sale. There you go, laser tag. I remember those. <laughs> yeah, Eric's. But you, Looks like you're cross posting Mercari. Um, I need to do that. I have some of my stuff I need to put out there. Parents probably did the sewing, that's true. Uh, yeah, silk ties are great. Yeah, those were all silk, so 
Uh, pick this up. This was brand new. This was two dollars after profits. Going to be about fourteen to fifteen. It's a cranium game. I'm gonna send this into Amazon. It's uh, brand new. I got that from Salvation Army. I got this racket. Comps weren't high, twenty bucks, <clears throat> but it's pretty much untouched. And again, this thing's super light, so I said, why not? The handles does well can see but again I just realized on the rackets usually on the inside you can see the number and the explanation of what the racket is if you can't find it um, include those in your pictures if you are gonna sell but again this is probably a longer tail item but I'll put it up there and we'll see what happens the cover is kind of wrecked so I'm not even gonna I'll say included but this is pretty decent uh vintage jerry garcia ties i got at the bins haven't listed yet didn't see that high of comps though big guy at least list for 15 bucks is what i would do door fiesta yeah thanks far jersey i picked it up uh had actually at the goodwill store i think i paid six dollars for it um hasn't sold because it's still up there hey linda what's up all right so and then I picked up a ton of games. Board games, I think I cleaned them out. Someone walked by my cart. They said, look at all the games you have. Uh, so I'll just show you a few. Memory, and again, I have to count the pieces. What I do at the bins is I'll open them up. And if it looks like the majority of the pieces are in there, I'll take it. If it's really heavy and comps are kind of iffy, I'll leave it. But... Memory this I was surprised this one does pretty well. There's a lot of versions on memory Check the date if you use the date on the back the date copyright date. That's what uh That's what does that's what differentiates them uh, How do I start reselling new items? Uh, open an eBay account open eBay PayPal and then we can help you get started if you need help I'm now seeing how far is spelled so I have to change my listing now <laughs> nice Handheld battleship, five bucks. Five bucks sale. That's probably not worth much. Trivial Pursuit Family Edition. Cranium Zurika. This one was pretty expensive, but there was no solds yet. It appears all the pieces are in there. Uh, it was like 25 bucks. Uh, Laser Maze. I was. <laughs> I looked in it, looked like there might have been a piece or two missing, and I just threw it in my cart because I was going to check it later. And I forgot, and I was putting it in the car, and I said, whoops. So, probably doesn't have all the pieces. Yahtzee 40th Anniversary Edition. Uh, the comps were pretty all right on that, so I took that. That was a good one. 47 Amazon sales. Nice. All right. I got these bags, too. There was actually a family had three of their kids going through the bins with the bags in them and uh, um, looking for money. All they, That's all they were doing is looking for stuff in the pockets. My board, my grandson wants to keep all the games. Oh, you have Laser Maze? Nice. Uh, cranium game. No, the, no, the Zurika one does not. There was the Cranium one with the molding clay that was in there. It was way heavy. I didn't buy it. Way too much shipping. Too much um, would have blown my expense out, so I left it. Onyx Black Scrabble sells quite well. All right. Huh. Aside from Yahtzee, I've never heard of any of those. I got a couple more. I found a Swiss, Swiss Gear laptop bag. It's kind of nice. Never checked comps on it. Just threw it in the bag. Patagonia Backpack. Uh, I sold my other backpack, my North Face, sold pretty instantaneously. This looks like it's missing something on the front. But again, it looks pretty much unused. So I'll list that, get some good money for that. Now, Taboo. Taboo does well. And it had all the pieces and the buzzer. So Swiss laptop pads do well. Yeah. So hopefully I'll look them up. Um, 
Yeah, so Taboo, that does well. Has comps run really high on those. Not comps, but uh, movement. It sells pretty fast. What is that? All right. Scrabble. I'll show you why I picked this one up. I did not count the pieces, but everything appeared to be in here. The bag and all that was there. This. So my kids have this. Um, and this was in there. The drill works. Well, this is pretty heavy. Now, what I'm probably going to do is if you just sell the drill and some of the wrenches and the parts to the drill, it, the drill sells for about $15. So I potentially might just sell the drill out of this one and keep the extra pieces for the kids. Because this is pretty heavy. It's pretty thick. It might fit in a regional A box, uh, but it is kind of wide. So I might just sell the drill out of it. So again, look to part stuff out. All right, here's the last couple things I bought. Scrabble pieces sell them by themselves. Oh yeah, that's not probably I'm gonna have to sell those pool balls. I don't know if you remember the pool balls I showed you. Maybe I didn't show you. Oh, I, I showed you the picture. I bought a bunch of pool balls and they were missing two of them. So I'm probably just gonna sell them individually. I bought, now, What's good is you look in the games. Here, I'm going to show you this. Check the games out. A lot of times, they're unused. I bought two of these. And they look like they have everything. Seen it. Some sell, some don't. So I picked it up, snagged them. Pieces sell out of seen it. Uh, the discs and the pieces and the die. So those sell. Pick them up if you can, depending on the price. Okay, this one I picked up. I saw and I said, wow. Box looked a little beat up. There it is. Trivial Pursuit 20, 25th, 20th, God, I can't speak. 20th Anniversary Edition. I'm going to cart. Yeah, James, uh, I have sold so many scenes. It's not even funny. And I have so many in the back. All right, so this, it has the board. And look at this. Hopefully I can show you. It's unopened. All the cards, all the game pieces, the board, um, this thing, all unopened. The only thing that's opened is the box. And I'm hope I'm gonna check the contents, but man, it looks like everything's in here. Look at that, brand new sealed. I was surprised when I opened it. I threw it in my card. Couldn't throw it in there fast enough. I sell so many board games in my toy booth at the antique mall. I'm sure. I mean, some of the games do pretty well. Goody Goods. Uh, how often do you bid on liquidation? I haven't yet this year. I need to. I started bidding once or twice last week. I used to buy two or three a, a week. I haven't recently just because I have all this stuff piling up around me, and I just bought some wholesale stuff. So I used to bid a lot. I need to get back into it once I get my inventory under control and get my wholesale purchases out of the way. But, uh, yeah, not recently. If you have questions, let me know. Are those duck feathers? No, it's like a fuzzy. This little fuzzy was flowing around. Uh, maybe the shed, some feathers you were going in your ducks in a row last night. That's right. How's your experience been with Source from Amazon? Uh, the best. That's the only one I buy from. So, yeah, that's the only – I've stuck to that seller only. No way what you're doing now is way better. Yeah, the profits are higher. All right. I walked by this four times. This thing's huge. Scrabble um, turntable, deluxe turntable edition. Yeah, double check your shipping costs. That's true. D Deborah, yeah, make sure you, you have to quote shipping before you bid because you're going to get stuck with large shipping. Darren, what's up? All right, so this has everything in it. I mean, you can see here it has the turntable, it has the pieces. Uh, I believe it has everything, but this thing sells for about $39 with 15 shipping. So it is pretty thick and wide, as you can see. Uh, I walked by it. No one picked it up. I just said, oh, I'm going to comp it. I said, all right, I'm going to grab it. And then I looked at it. It was a gift. They opened it in front of the aunt, sadly, or Aunt Sally, but didn't really want to play the game. 
I found that a lot. I found that a lot that the board games most of the time are sealed. <clears throat> nice Scrabble. Yeah, that Scrabble game is pretty nice. I have to count the pieces to make sure, but the bag's in there and there's a bunch of pieces, of Scrabble uh, squares in there, so I got to count them. If you click the get a quote option, is that pretty accurate? Yeah, depending on. So if you're doing source from Amazon, most likely they're boxed the lots. They will tell you the description if it's pallet or if it's a package. Usually the package ones are pretty accurate. I don't mess around with doing my, doing my own shipping. I did it once and I consolidated shipping and it took forever. So having my money tied up waiting to get that shipped wasn't fun. So I just said, I'm going to pay the extra $10 and just have them ship it. But yes, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, and read the instructions maybe later. <laughs> True. Who reads the instruction on board games? I just really peruse them real fast. Some of the board games, you ever play them and it's like 10 pages of instructions? Those are the worst. And then you have to look back and see if you violated the rules as you're playing. Darren sold 10 things. Nice. The Scrabble Black Onyx sells for 90 to 187. Wow. I didn't look that up. Black Onyx. Okay. Darren sold 10 things. Uh, Ron Connors. Yes. My grandmother used to live in Butler, PA. Not anymore. She just recently moved, probably a month and a half ago. So, yeah, we used to go to Butler a lot. We actually have friends still there, so we visit sometimes. I wonder if you customized the Scrabble board game with sweet LED lights that change color. <laughs> it could increase profits. Also, check how many lots you pay for each. Check the weight. Yes, check the weight. Andy reads the instructions. Video games, I don't ever read the instructions. Board games, I'll peruse them. At least the, the front couple. Um, I missed something here. Yeah, check the weight. Because weight will determine uh, how much you're going to pay. I can kind of get an idea of the weight and where it's at. Like Indiana versus Vegas. I can tell you it's going to be between 40 most likely 80 bucks. Anything higher than that? Uh, I don't I won't bid on it. Shipping's not worth it. You're gonna cut in your profits. Let the let the lot go, you'll find us something better. Have you been any shelf pulls? No, I have not. Uh mine have strictly been returns. They've been I mean, returns have been fine for me. It's just a lot of work. Depending on what you're buying. I was I do electronics only and tools. Uh so you gotta learn the items and what things are most likely gonna be broken. Are most likely going to be returned due to customers not knowing how to work it. Shelf pulls. Linda says shelf pulls. I pushed up my promoted listings to 12%. It worked pretty well. Nice. Darren, Darren's been running promoted listings on eBay. Don't be like me and rush into buying. Well, James, hopefully uh, let us know how it goes and what you get. So. Scott's done shelf pulls. Yeah, I, I strictly do returns. I haven't actually, I mean, electronics. I haven't found any source from Amazon uh, shelf pulls. So I sold four items from my bulk box. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Charlotte had a nice clean bulk box of toys. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, reach back out. Um, uh, if you're not a member of the Liquidation OH Facebook group, check it out. Uh, and I will get you guys your gift cards and your names and everything sorted this week. And I'll get over those over to Rob. And I will uh, uh, put that stuff in the mail for you guys. As a merchandiser, they have pulled right off and boxed. And a lot of times, some of the shelf pulls, the, bo the boxes might be a little dented. So just be wary as you get them. They're not direct from the manufacturer. Uh, the one I did, I paid two ten, made six hundred. Yeah, so promoted listing seems to be working for everybody. So I might give it a shot with some of my stuff that's been up there for a while. Charlotte bought bulk uninspected returns. So yeah, I got to get all this stuff listed. Um, the books, I got to get that stuff done. I got to get some of my death pile. My death pile is starting to grow, but. Uh, Get some stuff listed. I got to ship my stuff now. So got to get that going. 
Joey, 47 Amazon sales, 12 eBay sales. Joey, how's it going? Uh, eBay's broken for Joey. Nice. I listed a crazy item on eBay, remodeling the house. We found a mummified mouse wrapped in newspaper from 1915. Got a bid today, five days to go. What? Really? That's crazy. Wrapped in newspaper. Uh, Deborah, promoted, promoted listings where they promote your listing based upon what percentage you're going to pay back to eBay. Uh, so, Darren, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't it like anywhere between 1% and 20%? And based on the percentage that you put on your listing, it will up the chances in search rankings and them promoting your listing to sell. Once it sells, you pay that percentage uh, to eBay. Pac-Man, thanks for coming. We're about to wrap it up here soon. Yeah, don't like my your death pie look like mine. Yes, Razorback. No, did the Razorback polo sell? I don't think it did. Let me look. I gotta check my sheet. No, it did not, Charlotte. Still sitting there. Probably gotta touch the price. <laughs> um, you can sell a mummified mouse. That's funny. Uh, Kayaba jeans. Have not heard of that brand. Creepy sells that it does. <laughs> Darren's death pile has doubled since he got back from Vegas. <laughs> True story. Nice. So I'll reach out Monday. I got I got to write my dad self a note to do that. I'm gonna reach out to my wholesale vendors to say where's my stuff, and uh, I'm gonna work on some listings. I'm gonna sell uh, box up my eleven things tonight. Get that out, and then work on listing this stuff this week. The worst part is I got to count all the darn board game pieces. But they look complete, so we'll see. Other than that, Donna used promoted 10 to 17%, depending on the item. I had a non-payer on my uh, Arsenal jersey. Where do you pick stuff up at? How do I get How do I get sellers? I mean, how do you get buyers? Uh, I, I get it stuff at everywhere from uh, liquidation.com, blue lots, uh, liquidators to uh, I've just started doing wholesaling and thrift stores. Deborah, glad to help. I mean, a lot of you guys help a lot more than I do. So I'm glad to put a, a little bit what I can do, help everyone learn how to make some money and have some fun at it. Have I considered full time? I have considered. I'm just waiting for that right point. To, I got to make the money that will equal what my other money is, and then I could turn it around. Eric, yeah, thanks. I'll check that out. The hog b ball is on fire right now. Do a promoting listing with it. You know what? Right now, we're going to do, I'm going to call it out. I'll put a promoted listing on my Razorback shirt, and we will see if it sells. Deal? Deal. All right, I'll put a promoted listing on it. I'll try and figure out how to do it. Keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully with some new product, some new ideas, and some fun stuff. All right. Talk to you guys later. See ya.